guys, it's Beverly. So, I wanted to come on here and show you a finished object. And this is it. Do, 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 do. This is the finished eyelid chevron blanket from Premier. And I used the Premier yarn serenity chunky tweeds and if you remember i did a tutorial on this blanket it's a ripple and or chevron as they call it and it came out about 36 inches and it's probably close to 50. so 36 by 50 and it's going to be going into donations they're uh, gonna collect them at the clubhouse next week so I wanted to come and show you that and I was hoping that the blanket would come out 40 inches and in the tutorial you'll see me measure well it came off about four inches shorter once I got further down in the blanket but the original width was supposed to be 48 but see I didn't want it to be you know too wide but I wanted it to be long enough so that it could be used like for a chemo cover-up blanket or dialysis or something like that. So I wanted it more than just a lap can size. Also, uh, as part of the continuing series on the crochet hats, I wanted to show you some of my favorite patterns um, that I don't have samples of. The five other hats, I think there were five, that I showed you, I had those in my stash. But I don't have these. But I didn't, and some of these are headbands. And I didn't want to miss showing you these because just because I didn't have a sample. Okay, so this first one is uh, a red heart or a yarn inspiration pattern. And... I don't know if you can tell by this, but it's kind of like it has a brim if you want to roll it up or roll, keep it down. And it has like a strap with a button. So like if you had a favorite button that you really wanted to do. Now she has like three buttons on hers, but when I did it, I think I just put one. I didn't do that. So anyway, um, it is with Bulky Number 5 Yarn. And they used Red Heart Medley. And I don't even really know if this pa if that's still available. Because, see, this is a Red Heart pattern. It doesn't even have yarn inspirations on here. But it's a buttoned, slouchy, it's not an S. Of course, you critics out there will tell me how to spell it, say it the right way. But there's the name of the hat. And I just love this, and it sold really quickly. Someone really liked it. And um, the hat has a 24-inch brim, but see, you turn it up, so that makes a difference. And it starts in the crown, and you do a, um, a chain five, and you can join it, or you could do a magic loop, or a magic circle, excuse me. And it really came out nice. I really liked it. So if you had some bulky yarn, one skein of it, uh, the original yarn was 113 grams or 86 yards. So if you bought like one skein of a bulky yarn that you thought was really pretty, this would be a great hat. And of course you could leave off, because I guess what happens is you start making, because it's been a while since I made it. And you could probably, you know, compensate if you didn't want to put that strap. But again, if you had a beautiful button or two that you wanted to add, it would be a real classy looking hat. Okay. Now the next two are going to be headbands. Now this one is Sadie's Basket. And again, um, this doesn't have a date on it, but I made this quite a while ago. And it's a cable stitch Jenna headband crochet pattern. And uh, used an eye hook. And they use Simply Soft yarn. So you could use a number um, four weight yarn. 
And when you make this headband, she has you put a button in it. So let me show you this. See, it's got a, um, a braid or a cable. And then you could do a button, and that would be at the nape of the neck. But let me show you this picture of her wearing it. And I just love that effect. And it wasn't hard to accomplish. And of course, I'll link that this pattern below. And um, she doesn't say what, oh yeah, she does say. So you use this chain, a single crochet, um, the trebles. So a front post treble and a back post treble is what makes the cables. And I know that you guys can do this, but I just think that's adorable. It just is really, really pretty. And it was easy to make. Now this next one, uh, it's called the Twisted Stepsister. And it is a headband with a twist there. And this, um, you could, oh, there's two versions. You can do a number five yarn bulky or number four. And that, so there's two versions on here. So like, for example, with version one, which is the bulky yarn, you would chain 12. With the number four yarn, you would chain 18. And it's real clever how they end up doing the um, the twist. But it's a, it's a nice versatile pattern because you can use either one of the yarns. And so um, they're recommended in K with the bulky yarn and in an H with the number four. So this is real cute. It would be easy to whip up. And you have choices. You can do a bulky or a worsted. Now this pattern, I like this doing this a lot, and it you can use it for with scrap yarn. Okay, so this one is a granny square, and it's called the Granny Striped Crochet Hat Yarn Inspirations, and it has one, two, three, four, five, five colors, and so you would have like you could use black or navy this one the pattern calls for navy for the um, brim and then do your different colors in your granny stitch and um, let's see what do you do you start in the crown so you could have the crown of the hat match the band and you can do um, chain four and join them with a the slip stitch and then crochet into the circle or ring or you could do a magic circle and and i um, prefer doing the magic circle then after you've made your hat then you do your brim and uh, you use a smaller hook so you use a g and an h so you would use um if you decided uh, you could use the G hook to make your brim tighter. And there are double crochets, front posts and back posts, which makes your um, brim or your ribbing. And see what you could do is cheat. Bag Day taught me how to cheat. You could do one front post and one regular double crochet. So you wouldn't have to do the double crochet back post one front post and one regular double crochet uh, will create a ribbing. You don't have to do front post, back post, front post, back post. You can do front post and then just a regular double crochet. Okay. Now, this one here uses bulky yarn. This one um, has sizes from two-year-old to adult so this gives you it's called the cute as clusters hat and let's see what does it use it tells you how to make the cluster and let's see what else here's the hat and so you can make it I must have used bulky yarn or um, 
I made a note, so, and that's what it calls for, bulky yarn. Sorry about that. But anyway, it used Bernat Roving. But you could use any bulky yarn. And again, you know, use a K-hook. And you wouldn't have to use two colors. You could just do all one color with that. But you know how, like in some of our mystery bags, or if you have donations to your people, you know, wherever you get your yarn from, you know how you get that one ball and that's what you can use to make these hats. It's just one ball. Okay, guys. So the, even though I didn't have any of these, I've made all these before. And I wanted to pass them on to you because, you know, I didn't want you to miss out. Just because I didn't happen to have um, a hat in hand for you to see. But they're all trusted patterns. I've used them all. They'll all be linked below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Love you guys. Bye.